and you're wrong, aren't you? You always do oh, this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Mayhem Freedom Fridays on the it's Friday Monday. Monday. Today. Today. It's lovely Monday morning. Yes. Is it recording? Does that mean we're recording? We lost. Does that mean we're recording? We have a special guest, Christopher Hinshaw. Woo! What's your middle name, Chris? Edward. Christopher Edward. Oh, Doesn't that flow? How did you know there was a tope from huh? huh? I just figured. Christopher. Yes. Yeah, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Topher on the end. Old Topher. Old Topher Henshaw. Old Topher Henshaw. Please. Old Topher Henshaw. Alright. Darren, you gotta get rid of that trash, bro. Dan's gotta get rid of this. He needs it. Nah, Darren has to diet live. Like, Darren's gotta get rid of this. Dan's gotta get rid of this. You gotta dye your hair blonde. I love it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta get a tattoo. Oh, yeah. Dye your hair blonde. Yeah. Dye your hair blonde. 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 Do you guys scare or mess with Ellie? Ooh. I just saw it. Scare I mean, today, mess with like, use the term. Mess with nonstop, scare, one to two. We keep our At times. least mm -hmm. one. It's one o'clock and we're in double digits. No, we're not. No, yes, we are. Scary? Scary. Scaring, Chris. Bah! That's <laughs> That makes it that's, true. That's what it means. She had so much air that she was floating. I noticed you get injured every time. <laughs> Like as a post scare, you have a post scare injury. <laughs> yeah, she bruises. I'm, I'm very durable. Yeah. I just bruise easily. She's very dramatic. I'm yeah. not dramatic. The most. That's real. Oh, the most. That's real. <laughs> so, oh well, this one's interesting. So, do you guys think that Dave Castro should join you in a CrossFit Games workout? Ooh. Hmm. He did that open what? Two years ago when we did that yeah. open announcement. Should he join? He did us? it. So sure. Yeah. 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 I would like that. It would be fun to see him demo the workouts first every time. Like that if he went through fun. the whole thing and then we did it. So we at least got to see how it went. The whole team. Yeah. 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 I'd probably have to do pegboard for a while. I'd like to see his mentality when he's under extreme duress. Like he seems very intense. I'd like to see like where he goes when he's in that like dire pain state. I wonder too. Guns. <laughs> so I, I don't care. So food. So one of the things that I learned coming here early on is that you guys don't eat and you don't drink during the day. Somewhere you get food. So the question is, is that do you guys have any idea how many calories you have in the day and who does eat the most calories? Ooh, that's tough. most calories. I eat about that's in a day about twenty seven hundred. That's, that's, that's roughly where I am. I think I'm like twenty five to twenty seven. I have no idea. I have absolutely no <laughs> idea. Well, I would say when I get home, I kind of do like a little binge eating, yeah. probably from like eight binge until <laughs> eight until like ten o'clock at night. Yeah. Like in somewhere in that in that time frame, I'm just eating all the time. Yeah. You showing off your rogue supplements there? Yeah. <laughs> shake. My, my shake, I'm consuming. <laughs> Chris and I are the only ones that actually track the food that we eat. Each day. So, <laughs> yeah, so, 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 track that's why, that's why we actually have an I, answer I, to I don't want to come If you asked me that last year, I have no idea. That's funny. I, so I remember back when I was eating, I would eat 9,000 calories a day. 9,000? Yeah. Yeah. How many meals was that? Well, so I couldn't get enough because it was so tiring to eat, and so oh. you would drink it in 1,000 yeah. calories, one quart. What? Like how many yeah. hours a day, like it's too much running around a bike or in a pool? Yeah. Yeah. Can you oh eat? my gosh. I know, it's terrible. So I have a really good question. So everybody, you got to think about this. So if you were going to be an individual games athlete, for the women, you must pick who would I want to be? You have to pick a male, and you guys Ooh. have to pick a female. Male. So I've already thought about this. All right, so there, there's up. No. What female would you want to be if you were going to be a female games athlete? And why? It says and why. And why? Yeah. That'd oh be gosh. quick. Well, okay, I would have to say Kara Webb because my whole life I've been terrible at squatting. Yeah. And to see how much that she can lift and squat is phenomenal. There's really only one answer to this. It's Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> she she trains here. Nope. Nope. Do I, have to I was her? honest. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to be Sarah. She works out all day. <laughs> yeah. Rough life. Yeah. What you got, Angie? I mean, I would probably choose Sarah. Really? You'd choose Sarah? Yeah, I was thinking you just choose somebody else. But Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's an obvious answer to that. Uh, is it, yeah, is it I don't know. I was going to give a pull. Right. Yeah. Uh, I would probably, probably choose Sarah just because be I know she's, she's the only one I spent the most time with. She's seen school and I like cool people. Ladies? Is Sarah here? No, oh, yeah. Where's where she? Current or anybody? Anything. Anything. Just you pick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, I'm going to pick a void. Who? Dr. Void? Yeah, maybe. 
I'm gonna pick uh, Miko Seo for the legendary. Okay. Yeah, but, so he's a legend. He's always coming back. Always coming back. Yeah. <laughs> he's always. Like uh, I'm gonna pick Chris Beeler because yeah. I just think he's awesome and he's unbelievably strong and he's always been super nice and he's also <coughs> super legendary for being as awesome as he is. So. That was the first guy that I related to. Oh, yeah. like, uh, Ellie, like, Ellie, Ellie, you, know. you can't pick Rich. Can I, I was going to say, can I say Rich post no, working no, with him? No, no. That's no. a little bit of no, no, no thought. No, no, you can't pick that. You can run and swim and all that. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, I don't know. I'm standing by my You already know you're going to pick Rich. Get out of your I bubble. said post Hinshaw. Get out of your bubble. Thought. Get out of your bubble. Just pick someone else. You can I pick love it. Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> You're my favorite. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. Wait. You can pick me. Do you guys have a quick, easy answer? You guys all gave Sarah, huh? So, why is Ellie so quiet? That's what someone wants to know. Yeah. Yeah. Quiet. Oh, Ellie was quiet. <laughs> and remember, there's a lot of questions that Ellie was quiet in the last video. And they were like worried about her. Because, uh, who was it? We had <laughs> no, we had that wasn't why. The, uh, oh, because I was probably hungry. I mean, that's, it's, you, you so lost she, your hosting powers. I, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think that is. She, she, was, she wasn't quiet, she was pouting. In a death world, she was, <laughs> she was, she was salty. She's sulking. She couldn't talk because there was so much salt in her mouth. I wasn't salty. I don't even know what that means. It's so incredible how well you guys really genuinely like each other. No, I don't think that's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, I really, it's like, that's why we come to, I mean, this is like five times so far in the last four months to Tennessee. Time, yeah. It's like mm -hmm. I visit Tennessee more than, than any place. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you come here because, you know what, if you want to feel good about, like, everybody, come you here. Just really put it <laughs> so if you guys want to add another face to Mount Rushmore, who would you like to see up there? Oh, God, I don't know. Like, they said... Like, the guy who real be, Mount Rushmore? Uh, yeah. The guy who be, <laughs> yeah. so, it could be anybody. It doesn't have to be Mount Rushmore. Like the presidential Rush, Mount yeah. Rushmore or CrossFit Mount Rushmore? No. Yeah, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. So, what? Oh, you want to so see your face stumped up there, Rich? No. no. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It has to be the president. president. Uh, yeah. Well, who would you choose anyone? Anyone. That'd be weird anyone. anyone. It doesn't have to be. So who Tom would you Selling. love to see up there that you want Tom Selleck? The rest of eternity to recognize was great. Nickel's Cage. <laughs> Nickelback. Bruce Willis. Nickelback. Put Nickelback. That'd be great. I would like that. Um, I would like that. that. She would visit. Trivia for you Maybe since like history. Out. Who's on Mount Rushmore? Ooh. Roosevelt. Uh, Washington. Washington. Lincoln. 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 And. and... I don't know if I those three. I only asked because I didn't know. No. <laughs> Lincoln. Lincoln. Washington. Roosevelt. Jefferson. I was gonna say Jefferson. Jefferson was the. Teacher. Teacher. Good old Teacher. <laughs> Google. Stop. That's just right. Right. So while you're, while you're Googling, this is, a, this is a question for Rich. You're one of my inspirations, but it seems that, that in order to get a like kill of this, it just takes a lot of time. Do you have any recommendations in order to speed up the process? No. Work hard. There's no, no, there's no be, shortcut to be, anything. Be a genetic freak. It just takes time. It just takes time. Yeah. Lots of time. So, another question. What's the last meal you ate that you really regret eating? Oh. Nothing. Mm. Ever. Yeah. So it's not like candy night that you had after the open? I don't regret, I don't regret that. You don't feel bad about it? I regret it. tonight. No. Who was no. Jefferson, huh? You didn't eat two pizzas yeah, and 24 chicken That's wings? What I, I mean, that happens, but I don't know. I regret it. <laughs> you know, blazing wings. That was the only thing. Blazing <laughs> Blazing wings. That was a couple that. of days. <laughs> Not a lot of remorse is <laughs> So, you've obviously been to a lot of gyms. Besides Mayhem, what's your favorite gym? Hmm. Like Reebok. 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 As far as like facility, yeah. HQ yeah. Reebok. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I've been to that. Um, CrossFit National. <laughs> Talking about that brown on your nose, <laughs> yeah. I smell something. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped uh, one uh, one.
home back home that I like when me and my wife go uh, back home during like vacation times. Uh, I go to Eighth Day Gym and uh, it's in Grand Rapids. And um, I always like the setup. It's a big, I mean, like you walk in, it just seems like it's one room, but they got into another room, into another room, into another room. Like some of their rooms, like one's named like Narnia, the other one's named, it's, it, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. But it's just room after room, so. I thought, cool. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool setup. I mean, I think what's cool about walking into Reebok is because everything is spotless. Yeah. Everything's well maintained. It's yeah. it's yeah. all some beautiful yeah. condition. Yeah. It is just it's top shelf to run top perfectly. Yeah. And the coaches that are there, they're presentable. It's yeah. almost like they have uniforms. Yeah. And yeah, it's really polished all the way through. All the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that angry goat Austin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I know. It's just a funny thing. Like, <laughs> watching Austin, it's like, if you gym owners, you need to insist that you wear all the same color shoes. <laughs> just oh, we're also right. at Reebok headquarters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, you get the demo stuff. Um, what's the movement that you know you should do, but you never do do? Squat. He said squat. Thrusters. Thrusters. Burpees. More Legos. I've been burpees. doing burpees lately. Yeah, I've been doing burpees. Strict muscle ups. Mm. Yeah. Next yeah. question. Last year was a I, What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Obviously. What do you think now that the, the games has moved? That's going to show up. That will be new because of the new location. Mm. Crew. Rowing on the water. Rowing on the water. Yeah. Using more water. Using more water. I think. Oh, you did the trail stuff that one year, but I think they'll bring some trail stuff back, whether it's running or biking. Yeah. Biking, yeah, I think, I think I, yeah, biking, I think was. Yeah. Biking. I know, I have a bike on an actual bike. It's coming. Yay! It's a nice one, too. You gotta tell Chris about it. Hmm? No, it's not like a good bike. I think we have an extra. Well, I mean, that's a good point. So, there's two things. If you look on the storefront for CrossFit, they're selling now a bicycle. Yeah. Right? yeah. What? Very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But, oh, and also, nice. in, in Waterloo, yeah. Wisconsin is one of the largest bicycle companies in the world. It's right down the street, right? Biking. Trek. I mean, it could be, and then if you look at that area, I think you're right. I mean, I think that's so that area. Trail biking or road biking? I think the CrossFit bike's mountain bike, right? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I got that, remember? I did that yeah. one time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Touch that. Yeah. I was so good at it. Just like driving. We'll build some trails in the field. Yeah, feet down. Yeah. Yeah. Both, yeah. Both, both yeah. Both yeah. Both we'll build some trails in the field. Okay, did that you guys show Lindy how to change gears? Did they show you how to change gears? No, I have to change. There's I gears. Was, like, thought, where are the gears? I thought she was joking that she'd never really ridden bikes. No, I was it's like, true. Ah, come on, everybody. She had, she had five points of contact with the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, uh, yeah. You did not wait. Yeah. You guys are right. I am. In her head. The most expensive <laughs> bike ever. You did some bike riding earlier in the year, a lot of it, right? You actually yeah. ran a triathlon. Yeah. 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 Ellie, so how did that first triathlon go? She beat me. Oh wait, slow down. We might not have all that. Thanks for the yeah, uh, that picture, by the way, Rafi. I love that. So she beat so me on the good. first one. I destroyed her on the second one. Yeah. And then oh, yeah, because the bike so longer. Many excuses. And look at so the many excuses. <laughs> so so it was just me and Ellie's like, so well, so. Well, he did this I'm just here, saying. and it was just like Ellie. He beat you. On. She, she beat me on the first one. She did. And I'm a man, and I'll admit it. She beat me. <laughs> one time. So I have a more. question, who can hold their breath underwater the longest? Oh. Probably Rich. Uh. And who's second? Probably. Uh. Wait, Probably. you're the com biggest complainer with it though. And you're it hurts so bad. <laughs> I can do the full length a few times. Yeah. yeah. Just, Rachel little PRs is 50 every time you do it. PR. Yeah, he doesn't one day, really one swim. day we were doing 50s and I was like, I think PR. Like 10, 8, 6. <laughs> every PR. time. Every time we touch the wall. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like two two minutes. Minutes. On the last, the last set, I go. I'm gonna go completely up the program, and I'm just gonna go as fast as possible. They were supposed and to so, be as fast as possible. <laughs> and, so, and so, I just like, and I didn't even kick off the wall. Twenty six. I didn't. I didn't even kick off the wall. I just started fighting the water immediately. <laughs> You're fast. So who does get the most excited about a PR? Do you guys still get excited about getting a personal best? Yeah, yeah. Mine are. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I, 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 I haven't seen one. No, you must be PRing all the time, right? <laughs> yeah, you're squatting, yes. I mean, yeah, yeah but I mean, it's nothing to brag yeah, about. You have to pull a lot. So right? you got women that are squatting more than me. But yeah, Sarah's out there doubling yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Double front squat with your yeah. back squat. I don't, I don't get excited anymore than that Sarah's here. <laughs> yeah. It ruins everything. Well, so when I was
was doing the sport of triathlons, and I finally beat the fastest woman, and I called my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than a woman. Well, I'm the fastest like guy that woman, and he's like, I don't even know what you're telling me. He's <laughs> like, son, I've never been more proud. <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah. Yeah. You can come home now. <laughs> Do you PR at, at things? I mean, what's uh, the last thing I PR was clean and jerk, and that was last. Last last year, about year, a year ago, um, but I haven't been concentrating on lifting as much. So because I mean your strategy changes yeah, I mean, as an athlete. Yeah. So for us, for the team wise, I mean, we didn't touch a barbell at the games yeah. over 185 pounds for the guys last yeah. year, 135. For so the you girls. noticed that then? I mean, as far as last year, historically, you never know, yeah, you never know what's going to happen. Okay. I mean, we did do one at that. Yeah. Max Yeah. Yeah. Where's the Yeah. Don't don't cut that part out. <laughs> uh, how often? I thought it was heavy. A lot of diet stuff. So how often do you stray from your diet? Yes. You know, how often? <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, you guys don't eat, so I don't even you know like. These are directed towards Kristen and Lindy. I was gonna they, say Saturday nights and Sunday mornings. Sunday morning. We have like Saturday night dinner and then we have like a brunch on Sunday morning where I don't weigh and measure anything. Brunch. Yeah. If I'm a good and like I'm out of weight I want to be, I'll celebrate Fatter Days where I eat whatever I want as much as I want. But if, if I need to lock it up and get my things under control, then maybe every other weekend. I can't go more than that. That's not for us. So how about rehab? So let's just say that you don't have a lot of resources, right? What would you recommend people do? Like injury rehab? Yeah, for like yeah. just recovery? Yeah. Or, or re yeah, recovery, like in between. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of people online that yeah, you can find post videos and stuff cool. like that. We like use a chiropractor in-house. But, 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 in -house. but yeah. if you didn't, what would you recommend as your top priority? What would um, you do? Like if you didn't have the money to go see a chiropractor or a massage therapist. Or this magnesium rest. stuff we've been using is pretty awesome, I think. I've, we've is been, that the stuff that's in the store? So yes. I, so I got a bag of this yeah. salts that. Yeah. You know, I'm soaking that every night, and I swear I wake up and I'm not sore. Yeah, it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. right? I've done. I, I, I promise. Uh, Make me sore today, and I'll soak gotta, it, and then we'll be sore tomorrow. Kind of find out like what like movements are hurting you. I mean, like if it's if it's a consistent injury, usually kind of starting over. I mean, that kind of helps me a little bit. Like videoing going back yourself. to lightweight. Yeah, videoing yourself. Just starting back with, with the basics and kind of working on your whole, you know, your, your patterns and seeing like where you're messing up, where you're getting hurt. Deloading a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think making sure I'm getting enough carbs in has helped me recover drastically. Don't you just say carbs? I did. So that's. Sorry, it's made a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Right. Right. That was that. A huge back. difference. I feel way more recovered. Yeah. And if I have like a bad day where I just don't track, I don't get enough in, I feel like crap even if I didn't do much. Who's paying you? So I, 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 the only time that I've actually coached at the CrossFit Games, at in the games, and got a pass was Jason Kleep in 2014, and he said, "Will you be my coach?" And he doesn't need advice on how to do workouts. It was really a go for a go, getting this and that, right? That's all it was. I know the feeling. Right, you know. <laughs> I know. You feel like you're important. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm coaching. Yeah, he's asking me for advice. But I'm like, carrying like 10 shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Late. Yeah. Late. Yeah. Yeah. Late. Yeah. Late. Yeah. Late. Yeah. The most yeah. accurate yeah. down from there. CrossFit right sure. there. Right, but what do you do? It's like, oh, no, I go get shoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. I don't no, know. He, he gets lost in Vendor Village trying to do max pull ups to get a free t shirt. <laughs> when you need food or new shoes I or got socks. Waters. I did. Sleeping in. Sleeping here and I need something. Okay, I, let me finish oh, this spike ball tournament. Did you see the play? <laughs> we were playing spike ball while we were running up over the burden. Yeah, I had to quit. I we almost won. <laughs> there is a play spike ball. I had to quit because the other guy was like, we should go watch them. And I go, the hell? We're <laughs> <laughs> about to win a spike ball match. I didn't even have a coach till day three the first year because he had poison ivy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. He didn't have poison ivy. I Darren, I gave, I gave him my coach's pass, and then he came in like Thursday <laughs> afternoon, and he's like, hey, how you doing? I go, well, I mean, there's one event left, and there's no way I can lose now. I go, thanks for the coaching. You did great, didn't I? It is, it is. You won. <laughs> you won. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, another champion. I don't, I don't, I don't know what else I had to do. So you're like, maybe he'll make a better teammate than coach. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah. Sure. Maybe he'll make a better teammate. <laughs> How can you get better? Yeah, yeah. I'll say, obviously what I did worked. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry if I failed you guys somewhere. <laughs> yes, but it's, it's the truth, right? I mean, you're really just a gopher. You're yeah. running around. Oh, that's a whole you are. Very fit gopher. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and with six people, it's like you're doing six times the work. Yeah, like a yeah, like single parent work. out there <laughs> trying to <laughs> help you know, keep track of single all these kids. Yeah. Right. I cook, I clean. I, right. <laughs> I think yeah. the thing that Kristen said, so a car. So when, in 2014, I'm sitting in there and I come from the endurance world and so we have diets of carbs, right? That's what we survive on. And I'm there and I'm watching people in between workouts having boneless, skinless chicken breast and protein shakes. And Jason was just like, dude, get me another, go get me protein. Go, I need more protein. I'm gassed. I need more protein. It's like, <laughs> have a Snickers, bro. <laughs> Here's this Pop-Tart. Yeah. Right. It's like, I'm taking sugar and pouring it in, you know, water. I'm like, here you go. <laughs> Like, yes, this is protein. protein. Right. Yes. Yes. Chocolate syrup. Right. It's like, just drink it. You know, it's more crisp protein. protein. Right. It's like, because what you noticed, and I think that was one of the advantages that that, I, that you had, so. was is that you recognized, and that's why you were so dominant on that final mm -hmm. day, is that you had the energy. It was funny that year I was watching. They couldn't warm up, they couldn't warm down, and they barely could survive those events, and you were reaching. <coughs> And so I told Darren to go for it with pizza. I, I mean, my God, yeah. I spent 20 bucks on pizza. <laughs> so <laughs> you were that weekend. Yeah, I was going to have to reimburse. Write <laughs> <laughs> it off on your yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Me and my wife were struggling here. Yeah. Getting pizza runs. <laughs> Rich, you can that cross. <laughs> yeah. You're just oh, oh, cashing cross. checks, and I'm raking out pizza all the time. So Friday is the most important day, right? I mean, because here you, you, you're drained from the first workout, right? And so you, that day, and now you've got Saturday and Sunday. What is the meal then you eat? What was the meal you ate then Friday night? Cafe Rio. Oh my gosh, so Cafe Rio is so good. Cafe Rio is so good. Like, is so good. Oh my gosh. I, I, I I it it Can they open one of those in Madison before we get there? We get a lot of Cafe Rio. So good. And In-N-Out. Yeah, they're not gonna have In-N-Out, are they? No. No. Wow. I don't think I got a damn dude. What a rough day. What a rough day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'll withdraw. Forget it. Withdraw all my scores. I'm gonna go to Carson. I ain't In-N-Out every single day. Just walk into a stove up. <laughs> Do a workout. I guess I win. Live stream. 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 All right, last, we got our last question. So, if you were gonna have a dessert then, and you had to have that dessert every night for the rest of your life. Apple pie. What would it be? Yeah. Apple pie, apple pie with ice cream. No you chocolate. Apple pie with ice cream on top. Yeah. 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 I mean, apple That's pie is kind of to be. Good apple pie. Hi, it's my favorite. Yourself. You're the best. There's no, there's no chocolate in apple. Then come up with something good. I gotta think about this. this Brownie is, with ice cream. Oh, I was about to say that. Because they don't with ice cream. Jeez, did Brownie. you have Hillary's brownies the other night? Did you? Those are good. No, I want them. How can you make brownie that sticky? I couldn't even get it out of the pan. Did she make it? It was like I was pulling it out of the pan and it was a long like, <laughs> mozzarella cheese. <laughs> it's the best. I'll have that. Oh, I'll right. that right now. It's yeah, seriously. Cheese. It's so hard to pick. And her, and her and Jess were arguing about when to take them out of the oven. I was like, you can never undercook a brownie. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Even if it's fatter, yeah. it's still fat. Yeah. It's still yeah. delicious. So yeah. You can always overcook a brownie. Point. Yeah. Right. And that was, like, was like a hybrid brownie. brownie. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so good. Deli? Right. All right, Deli. You have like kale. Kale. <laughs> kale brownie. <laughs> 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 what, is, what was the thing she wanted us to try? The uh, kale chips, right? Kale chips. Uh, black bean brownies. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to make them tomorrow. Why is uh, no, that oh, we have two blind taste tests. We have to do an organic cinnamon roll versus a conventional cinnamon roll. We have to do a black bean brownie versus a conventional brownie. And I guarantee you're going to pick the organic rolls. one and you're going to pick the black bean brownie. And okay. that's where we end. You're Ask right. your questions here. You're welcome. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Good host. Thanks. He was yeah, the best. Yeah, the best host. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> <laughs>